Hello, I'm Anna Lambert and this is my studio. I shared your auction workshop with my husband, the painter David Thomas, and we've been here for 20 years. This area where we live, it's um, right on the edge of the village. So we, we have the uh, suburban colliding with the rural. So March and April are, are the months that I try to get out into the woods and draw. Um, I find it a really sort of hopeful time of year when all the leaves and the blossom are bursting and it seems to be bringing new life to the uh, new year. Um, this year obviously we've not managed a lot but uh, you know they'll be next year. So this is my work area. Um, spent nearly every day of my life here. My tools piles of foam, kilns. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just wonder if I make a sort of vague plan. Um, I know what the colours will turn out like, more or less. But I sort of take each section as it comes. Do a bit of scraping, a bit of colour, and then see what I've got and see what I'm going to do next. And then sort of olive contrast. This is going to have a, this will have a big hedge all the way along the back here in Scrofito, which will then be filled after the biscuit firing with um, other coloured slips. This darker colour I'm putting on now is going to be obscured by white and then just touches of it will show through like um, underpainting. So here are some of my drawings. A lot of the uh, subjects that I choose to draw have some sort of relevance to climate change, the way that land is used by farmers and the way that trees grow. Um, this is a quite funny one because I, I started drawing these in a field down near Silsden down the road and they, uh, I thought that they were being planted on the floodplain because the fields flooded a little bit. Um, they're all willows and it turns out that they're owned by a cricket bat um, manufacturer. So it's changed my, changed my narrative there. These are the, um, I've got a whole series of, of views from the workshop window at different times of the year and it comes into my work quite a lot, particularly this group of um, birch trees up near the top, I'll show you in a minute, and the, and the remnants of the quarries which are all, all over this area, there are, there are quarry um, workings. People were allowed to take enough stone to build a house, so the fields are pitted with um, little little um, indentations. And a couple of years ago, we went to Norway, and there are a few. Um, a lot of my drawings from Norway emphasise this incredible verticality of, of the very large birch tr trees and pine forests that they have there. So we were staying in a place, quite a lot of the time, we were staying in a place in uh, the west of Norway. 
um, just as spring was coming. And you see these um, ideas echoed in my room, in my work, so throughout um, this period that I'm doing at the moment. A lot of, a lot of light and um, just this sort of joyfulness of the new growth. And I started using, because we were there um, on our own, we had the dark evenings to um, deal with. So I started using collage and using tissue paper and, and watercolour. This drawing um, was the just a tiny bit of a bank outside where we were staying, and gradually the, the pussy willow was coming out, and the, um, the moss was growing. And I took, I did a f quite a few drawings of this area, but this really zoned in on this very close area of this little willow tree here. So these are the stencils that I use um, when I'm making decorating my work to put on the details. The, um, they're all made from hand cut up into tissue paper, maybe four or five layers at a time, so that I can repeat motifs. Um, and they're taken from my drawings. These ones are all from um, Parsifal Hall garden near here. So we have uh, trees on top of the other layers of slip. A range of pieces is available on my website. I've kept back some of my favourite pieces and I'm in the process of making a full range of new pieces, bowls, jugs, plates and spoons. As usual with North York's Open Studios, I will also have a few older pieces and seconds which are offered just for a month at reduced prices. Some of the proceeds of this group will be given to charity as in previous years. Thanks for visiting the virtual studio. My work can be seen on our website. To get notifications about exhibitions and teaching workshops, you can join our mailing list or follow me on Instagram, Anna Lambert Ceramics. Junction Workshop is not generally open to the public, but we would be delighted to see you here by appointment, um, if circumstances allow. During the Open Studio weekends, if anyone would like to join me in a video visit, then email me or text to make an appointment.